Okay, dokey. Oh no. Can you see my pajamas? <sighs> hey everyone, my name is Catherine and today we're gonna be doing a book tag. This is my first book tag ever. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'll try my best. It's gonna be a TBR book tag. Hey! And this book tag is about the you, my TBR pile and how I read books and how I plan on reading books and what is on my TBR, I guess. I haven't looked at the questions yet. I probably should have. But anyway, we're gonna get right into the video. And the first question is how do you keep track of your TBR pile? I have a secret. I'm a psychopath, okay? <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm, I hope I'm not. Um, this is my notebook that I started just writing my stuff in since 2017 and that's when I started getting into the books and buying new books and because I love lists and I love writing things in my notebook, I started writing down all the books that I, that I own and there they are. Um, I don't know if I'm, that's how I'm gonna be keeping track of all the books I have, I own, I read, um, but this is how I do this. When I read the book, I kind of mark it yellow with a sharpie. <laughs> and this is how I pretty much keep track of my TBR. And I've never really unhauled any books, so everything I ever bought stays in this notebook and I still own. I'm planning on doing that haul this year and I don't know what I'm gonna be doing about my list. Alright, next question. <laughs> Is your TBR mostly print or ebook? Uh, mostly print. I mean, all of them print. I do not really read on... Um, my tablet or computer. I don't like reading ebooks. I know that it's really good for environment. You don't have to, you know, buy physical copies, but I really love the feeling of reading a physical book. You know, you you grab it, you open the pages, you're you put in book, bookmarks, you can, you know, annotate and stuff, and it's just it's really nice to have a physical book for me and I love the whole experience, love the smell. I, mm. Okay, the third question is how do you determine which book from your TBR to read next? Um, it really depends on my mood really. I do not put a TBR pile for the month. Um, I kind of plan ahead uh, what, you know, audiobooks I want to borrow from the library. But overall I go by mood, I come to my bookshelf and I'm looking what looks exciting to me, what grabs my attention and I'm going for that book. As simple as that. The next question is a book that's been on your TBR list the longest. The book that's been on my TBR the longest is... it's a shameful one. <laughs> it's The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto by Mitch Album. Let me go grab it. I made an entire video about Mitch Album. I'm gonna list it down below. This is my favorite author of all time. I've been gifted all of his books by my uh, friend Ryan from university and I just still haven't get around reading this one even though I really want to. Even though this is such... Um, you've seen this book. Let's go for something else. Okay, uh, Paper Towns by John Green. I actually own the longest. I've been gifted that book as well by my friend from Russia and it is in English but I was just not into that book. I read some but I'm not interested. This copy with the movie cover I own and just it's not interesting to me. A book you recently added to your TBR. The most recent uh, addition to my TBR pile is More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by unknown author. <laughs> Last year I read Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark so I can watch the movie and I, I'm i not gonna say that I enjoyed the stories but I really enjoyed the illustrations in the book. I think they're super horrifying and I get spooked so many many times. Sorry I'm looking for a really creepy picture. Ready? Boom! Look at that thing! This is freaking obnoxious. Okay I'm sorry I'm obnoxious. Um, but this is very creepy. So they are like three collections of short stories and the illustrator for these books are honestly a really gifted guy. These illustrations are very scary and I thought hmm that would be cool. I'm gonna Target, came back home with a book. Typical me. <laughs> so the next question is a book in your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. Aren't we all just so guilty of it? Okay, so I got some books here. Um, 
um, these two are so similar but I really like the vibe I got them because of their beautiful covers and this is the guise of another by Ellen Eskins and a matter of days by Amber Kieser I feel like they're so similar but both of them are bought because of their beautiful covers I love the spooky forest vibes um, especially from Mr. Thrillers and both of those were calling my name at some point another one that I got because of the beautiful cover is California look at that thing oh how beautiful this forest I love forest <laughs> and I don't know anything about this book I think it's post-apocalyptic I believe might be wrong and oh another one that I found is The Devil's Feast by AMG Carter this book I thrifted but I just thought the, the cover is so freaking cool like look at it mmm <laughs> yeah and I just I I thought that maybe it's about Devil's Feast or something about Satan or something like that but apparently I'm wrong I read the synopsis it's like mystery investigative story beautiful cover though dead battery problems well who is surprised okay so the next question um, is a book in your tbr that you never plan on reading well i'm not the kind of person who buys books and doesn't really read them until i give them at least a chance um but oh oh i know last year i attempted to read wicked by gregory Maguire, and i hated this book <laughs> this book i just Pies. It was whatever. I couldn't even get to it at all. I couldn't get to it. I couldn't go through it. I didn't have this book. It was just not what I expected. And I'm so sad about it. Do you know why? Because I have these two. I have uh, a son of a witch and a lion among men. And both of these are part of the same series. So even though I thrifted all of these books, I didn't buy them full price. I'm kind of really bummed because I have this, they're gorgeous books, these beautiful illustrations with, you know, um, wow. I don't think I will ever read them. I, I mean, how can I read the continuation of the series? I didn't even know if they connected or not, by the way. Um, how can I read the continuation of the series if I haven't even gotten through the first one? It's just so sad. And these are just another reminder that I shouldn't buy continuation of the series before I read the first book. <laughs> ah! But anyway. <laughs> and a published book on your TBR that you're excited for. I'm not the person who is like anticipating and released books. Uh, if they come out and I see them, I get excited, but I'm not really keeping up with what is gonna come out. Um, oh, but I know one. I know one. Wait, give me a second. Mallory by Josh Merriman. Uh, it's like a sequel to Bird Box. And Bird Box is my favorite book of last year. I'm gonna release the video down below, but Mallory sounds so amazing. Look at this cover. Oh my god. Um, I'm not sure what they're gonna go into, what details they're gonna reveal us about the story, but I don't care. I love the story. I love the world. I love the character Mallory is amazing so I'm really excited about this one I'm not sure when it comes out it's gonna come out in July 21st in 2020 so in summer that's exciting Ooh, that's a good question and the next question is a book in your TBR that basically everyone's read but you where do I even begin <laughs> there are so many good books including these three that I just quickly grab from my shelves that I am so excited to read everyone read it but we there are many I can't even name one but I mean I guess well let's go with this one Darker Shade of Magic by B. Schwab haven't read a book in your TBR that everyone recommends to you um I don't have everyone to recommend me books because I don't have a lot of friends who read a lot of books but one of my friends recommended me uh, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green I don't really read contemporaries, but she said that this book is nothing like she, he ever wrote before. This book is so much more mature and heart heating and that I will love it so much more than, you know, like Paper Towns, <laughs> let's say. This one has been recommended to me by her a lot and she just kind of pushed me to read it. So yeah, let's go with that one. A book in your TBR that you're dying to read. Just one? I'm dying to read all of them. I mean, any of those, any of these, honestly. The heck, even this one. 
I'm excited to read all of them. I cannot pinpoint just one. But I mean, if I'm dying, dying, I'll have to go with the magic strings of Frankie Presto. I'm sorry, Mitch album is my dude. So, there's that. How many books are on your TBR shelf? Uh, let's go count. Hey, my dudes. Um, <laughs> you totally can tell that it's not the same day. I tried to wear the same sweater, but hey, you're not fools. You know that it's not the same day, but hey. Give me an A plus for trying. Let's let's count how many books I have on my TBR. All right, so on my uh, TBR shelf which means this one, I have 38 books and in my closet I have an entire collection, well, not really entire collection of series, series of unfortunate events and there's one book that I'm reading currently which I don't count as my TBR because I'm reading it and um, I have a book haul coming but I'm not gonna reveal any of those books in this uh, video so well, let's just say we ha we are about like 45 books let's get back to the video Hey, well that's it. That was the last question. I did my first book tag. Yay! I am so excited about this booktube channel. I don't know where it's gonna take me, uh, but I enjoy filming and I enjoy seeing you like it. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye!